Hold on, Facebook. I'm going to do y'all the same way I did IG. This how we'll kill that. We back. Somebody said I definitely get it. So listen, all I want to explain on here is the, the difference between people that operate with a herd mentality and people that operate with a pack mentality. Like, you got to understand, like, when you lining up your family unit, and this goes down to even relationships and the type of people that you picking around you. If you don't pick people that have an understanding that I got to pull my fucking weight, that I have a role um, as an individual, um, you know, being a part of this group. If you don't pick people like that, you will always find yourself in situations in life where you questioning if you belong in the circle you belong in, if we gonna be safe, are we headed in the right direction? Because when you watch animals and people that operate with a herd mentality, it's about them always being a part of something, but the something they are part of don't actually necessarily have to stand for shit. Y'all understand what I'm explaining? If you think like if you're one of the people that watch Animal Planet or, you know, the, the Discovery Channel and shit like that, and you see them fucking gazelles and them animals that run in large herds, and you see when, like, lions come around or tigers come around, the motherfuckers just run. They don't necessarily know if they're running in the correct direction. They don't really know, you know, should I be running any faster or any slower? Motherfucker just, the majority take off, they take off as well. The majority doing this, they do this as well. And in the end, you know, a few get picked off you know, they become prey to a motherfucking predator, to somebody that usually is coming from a background where I operate as a pack. Me and my, we know what the fuck we doing. Me and my, we here for a purpose. Me and my, we come in, we scope out what the fuck we looking for, and we execute. Me and my, we look out for one another. Me and my, we operate in a space where I know my role, you know your role. If you really look into and start researching the mentality of animals that operate in a pack, people that have a pack mentality, them motherfuckers, when they wake up, they know what the fuck they doing. When they move, meaning when they leave whatever den or whatever nest or where, wherever the fuck they live at, when they go out, they know, okay, you got the head of the household. This motherfucker determine the direction we going. He look out ahead and foresee what the fuck we about to be up against. You got the ones that look out for the youngins, the ones that's right there with the weaker ones in the fucking pack. They got to understand that I got to be, you know, the peripherals. This motherfucker, he got to keep us focused on where the fuck we going moving forward. I'm here. I got to make sure ain't nothing going on the sides of me. Make sure the, you know, the kids ain't got the wrong shit going on. Nobody ain't trying to prey on them because we a fucking unit. Y'all understand what I'm explaining? This shit, when you really break it down and map it out, like, with the way your family, it'll really make you rethink the nigga you laid up with or the bitch you got around you. Because if you got a hole on your team, bro, and she trying to tell you, what, hey, you ain't looking over there. Or why we ain't going that way? Or why, how the fuck she looking out for the kids? How she watching both sides and she trying to tell you what direction to lead y'all in? Shit real deep when you think about how you been thinking, how you been operating, how you setting your family up. It plays a role like what I was reading on the lines I just ended. Like, people that run in packs, they have a fucking, there is a, 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 a mentality within them where they care about who we breed with, who we mix and mingle with. Uh, when, when you look at just nature and animals that run in packs, they usually give a fuck about what other animals they fuck on. Because, of course, if I breed with the wrong kind or a fucking, um, you know, one of y'all with weaker genetics, my motherfucking seeds come out the same. Now the pack get weaker based on how many of you retarded motherfuckers I got in the group. I done fucked around and had some kids with a dumb bitch. The kid's dumb because this nigga teaching them some dumb shit. Now we operate on a pack where these motherfuckers, they becoming more of a light. And then when you see people that operate in, when you look at animals, they, out, they will cut your motherfucking ass off. Even as they child, if you risking the fucking well-being of the entire motherfucking pack. Y'all understand what I'm explaining? Is it making sense now? Some of y'all dudes, man. You say you're a grown man. You say you're a leader. Or you want to be a leader. Or you want to you be head of household. You want a bitch to submit to you. But bro, you ain't got no pack mentality. The stuff you wake up crying and whining about. The shit you keep your teeth ain't leading y'all nowhere. You got to think about it, man. When you, when you look at that, the, the, the most...
the most feared animals. The ones that when they when they you ever seen like like a a, a a pack of wolves or a fucking you know a group of lions walk up and it's like them bitches when they the way they step that shit make people know like they ain't to be fucked with boy. They ain't to be fucked with and they usually start with that motherfucker that's leading the front. Y'all ever seen like you 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 really gotta like sit back and watch like the Discovery Channel and shit like that. You see like like a group of lions and shit walking up. That that bitch in the front that nigga that be in the front. That one that, that 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 got that fucking big ass mane who had damn near be bigger than a bitch body, that that motherfucker in the front who who paws be the size of a bitch thigh, like boy when that motherfucker step and everybody be hot boy you know boy, alright, boy bitch go up again boy you got you got to really have your shit together to fuck with them boy, like that nigga in the front he ain't walking looking back, when when y'all y'all gotta really like pay attention to this shit like I really process this shit in a way where I'm like boy this shit really like this shit deep. It really, when you see the motherfuckers, that one in the front, that bitch don't be looking back. Boy, that nigga be full stream ahead and them hoes behind him. Boy, them bitches that be coming, them hoes be big too and they be stepping, boy. And you will see them look left, you will see, but the nigga in the front and they just move. The direction he move, them bitches move. You don't see nobody questioning nobody. You don't see nobody, like the shit be some shit to look at, boy. Some of y'all families, boy, your unit's far from that, man. You're far from that, man. You far from that, man. Some of y'all niggas, you not that nigga in the front, boy. You not that one when them when when, when them lions step out from around the corner and you see that nigga step, the nigga don't look back, boy. He don't never question who the fuck he got behind him. And them hoes be on the side of him, boy. You used to see them bitches, that big ass lion come out in the front. You see a, a one over here. You see and you see them get smaller. And then you used to see one in the back that really be God and like making sure like the shit going, all right. Exactly, big stepper. But it be a certain demeanor. It be a certain like, and it ain't just for show. See, some of y'all, y'all put on that persona and it be for, no, these motherfuckers fuck with them. Fuck with them. That nigga in the front, fuck with them. Watch what them hoes on the side do. Watch what the motherfucking smaller ones do in the back. Don't let a bitch fool you, boy. Y'all don't got this going on, man. When I really started to understand this, I, I, it made it change the type of it, the nigga, the type of niggas I'm attracted to, the way that I operate with my children, the way that I, I the, the information I choose to put in front of them, and not like like you really gotta prepare your jits for the world, bro. You really gotta pick a bitch to stand on the side of you in front of you, man. That's gonna step and gotta understand it for what we doing. Y'all got to start moving as a pack, man. Y'all running herds too much, man. Y'all got that mentality with you where you with a large group, but y'all individually operating on, under y'all own agenda. This is why you so easily broken apart. This is why it's so easy to infiltrate. I'm telling y'all, man, you ever seen wolves? You ever watch, watch the animal planet and shit like that? When you see the wolves step out and they step out at night hunting like, bitch, they know, like, bitch, we finna go out here, boy. And it's dangerous out here, boy. But but truth be told, the way they running, the way they moving, they the ones to be feared, boy. Like, the way they understand, the way their environment operate, the way they done make sure everybody in a pack understand what the fuck we doing. Like, we finna step, boy. You ever seen wolves like attack, boy? You you standing somewhere, the motherfuckers one pop out. And you like, okay, look at this nigga. Next thing, no, oh, oh, yeah, she right there. It's another one come out over here. The way they surround your ass. You got to watch, like, wolves operate a little bit different than lions do, but it's that same fucking mentality. You know, lions come out, bitch, they usually all be stepping. Like, you know, you can see them all in the same group, and it's hard to even, you can see them coming, and it's still hard to avoid getting fucked up by them just because of the way they move, the understanding they got one another. Wolves, the motherfuckers pop out, you will see one. Bitch, one come out, you thinking it's one long... Man, you look up, three, four, five of them bitches come out the trees. You don't know what the fuck to do before you know it. You surrounded, boy. It's going down, boy. The way they unify, the way they got to understand, and the way they attack, bitch, one latch on, they all do. Nigga, one look out, they all do. All right. Y'all better fix y'all mentality, man. I'm telling you, when you really understand how deep this shit is, you will change the way that you operate with your children. You will change the type of niggas you picking in your life. You will change the type of bitches you lay up with, man. I'm telling y'all, the mentality got to be different. People that operate in herds, people that run in motherfucking packs, man. Y'all got teenagers and shit. Y'all better teach them this shit.
I'm telling y'all some G ass shit, man. For those that genuinely understand, it'll help you like change your mindset. For some of y'all dudes, if you genuinely understand, bro, you will realize the stuff I'm worried about, I can't be worried about it. The shit I'm arguing with a bitch about, I can't be worried about it. And then some of y'all females, if you genuinely understand what I'm explaining, a nigga can't lead like that lion in the front of you always fucking with them. Imagine seeing a, a, a whole pack, a group of lions coming out. This, this big ass nigga in the front and it's the, 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 the female behind him, she keep tapping him. Every time you look up, she tapping on him. He got to keep looking back. How the fuck he going to keep up with where they going? Be yeah, they be worried about the wrong shit. What you say exactly? Why loyalty is so important to me? People so grimy. Though they normalize it. This is what y'all got to understand. Because what they saying, what you just commented is the same thing I'm saying. When you look up the mentality of people that operate within a herd, behavior like that is plentiful. Because we are part of a large group, but every individual is essentially looking out for self. The herd mentality is, let's get together and make it look like something strong. But if shit go down, we all going to take off and every man for themselves when the running start. People that operate in packs, you can't do them like that. You can't walk up to no motherfuckers Well, this is a fucking wolf pack. And you think you're going to come up and pick on one. Bitch, we all finna eat your ass up. Y'all understand what I'm explaining? Ain't no walking up on no pack of lions or no group of people that we a fucking unit that you think you just finna get over on one. Y'all gotta understand, man, and see, it really boils down to, and I end on this, because I did this, it, when I realized this, I made changes within my household on how I'm operating. I sat my girls down and I explained to them, all of us got a fucking role to play. And at all times, you got to know what the fuck your importance and what your job is in this shit. Even down to my baby. She's seven, but she know what the fuck she here for. She know what she doing in the household. She know what her chores are, what mama expect of me, and what my mama know what I expect out of her. I got to understand on what she want from even down to the smallest, weakest link in your unit. They got to know what the fuck you stand for and what you doing with them. Down to my youngest child, she understand what my role is. And anybody I bring around, I make sure my children understand what the fuck they doing here. Because when you bring new people around, it can throw off the dynamic of how you got the pet set up. Because I, I don't understand my role right now, Marcus. What he doing? Or what she over here for? Or am I supposed to not do this because they around? Y'all don't, y'all don't tally up enough. Y'all don't make sure you check a pulse on everybody knowing what the fuck we doing quarterly in y'all family unit. This shit get deep when you really think about it. Y'all got niggas in y'all life. He supposed to be the leader. He don't know what the fuck going on. This is why some of y'all sons, he, he don't respect the nigga you got laid up there. And then y'all want to call a call legit disrespect. Oh, he he's 16 and he disrespect. No, he can tell that nigga ain't equipped to lead the pack, boy. He can tell, boy, you picked a weak-ass motherfucking lion to be in the front to lead us. He can tell, my, you so busy on this nigga head. I know we ain't headed in the right direction. Message for some of y'all. Shit real deep. People who operate off a of herd mentality and a pack mentality. And I listen, I tell any nigga boy, any nigga I'm around, boy, you gotta understand, man, like, like, you gotta have that pack mentality. You gotta know what we doing and where we going, the direction that we going, man. You gonna be human, you gonna feel, you gonna whatever, but you gotta keep your mind focused, boy. We walking in this pack. I got to know this nigga in front of me, boy, he ain't to be fucked with. I can't be behind you feeling like at any given moment, I don't know if this nigga going to hold it down. At any given moment, we get attacked, we get pressure, we get tested. This nigga might not know what direction the man, you better, all right. Shit real deep when you really think about it. It's definitely some real shit for your ass. Really look at your family unit and think about what I'm saying. Just simply go watch the Discovery Channel. Bitch, go on YouTube and type in the behavior of animals that run in packs. And watch how you realize 
Bitch, I need to change some of the shit I'm doing and the way that I'm picking people. Some of y'all friends, man, they a part of y'all pack. Them hoes over here chattering and shit. We trying to move forward. We trying to get shit done. Like, we got a real genuine leader in front of us. This hoe is such a distraction. She worrying about what they got going on, who going on, what's going on. Ho, you supposed to be looking out to see what the fuck is a threat to us and what's not. What's new knowledge to us and what's not. What's going to keep us going in the direction we supposed to be going and what's going to hold us back. You too busy worrying about what the I message. Show me your friends, I'll show you your future. Show me the motherfuckers around y'all. Show you what type of decisions y'all be making and the shit y'all be worrying about. I'm telling y'all, man, this, this this information changed my whole fucking perspective. Y'all be asking me like, well, what stuff happened in your life to make you change shit like this when I started learning about shit like this? Like, when I, when I first realized this, a nigga broke it down to me, and he was an older dude. The nigga broke it down so smooth to me, man, that shit in that moment changed who the fuck I was. When the nigga broke it down, like, like to really, every day how we stepping, like, if your family, like, wake up stepping in the right direction, like, when y'all move, how the fuck y'all look as a unit? Like, when he broke this, that shit really made, man, I went home that motherfucking day and sat my kids down. Boy, we got to change this shit. Some shit ain't right, man. Some shit ain't right, boy. It changed in that moment how the fuck I look at niggas. Like, who the fuck I want around. Like, what type of... The stuff y'all be looking at, oh, how the nigga look. Oh, if he this. Oh, what is. Oh, what... Nah, bitch gotta have certain shit in their character, dog, to be fucked off with me. I got to be able to see certain leadership qualities in certain shit, man. I hope this helps some of y'all. I hope it really help y'all, like, kind of gain a perspective. And I encourage you, don't just sit on here and just go with what I said. Really take a second. Google the shit. Get you, you, you a visual learner? Go on YouTube right now and type in the behavior of wolves. The behavior. Watch how the motherfuckers attack. Watch how they step when they step out. Watch how they travel when they migrate. When it's just the, the climate changes. Message. The season changes. Message. And it's time to move to a different area. When it's time to, you know... Cross wherever they live at and go go make a new home somewhere. Watch how these motherfuckers step when they step out. Watch how they put message. Watch how they leave a bitch behind from their own group if that motherfucker threatening the overall well-being. Watch how they give a fuck who they lay up with and make a baby with based on the character traits in that motherfucker. You know, you can learn a lot from understanding how animals operate because it, it's some it's some animals of the same breed, of the same species, they won't fuck with bitch because you weak. You weak, and if I fuck around and have a child with you, you gonna jeopardize the well-being of my motherfucking genetics moving forward. My name, message. Message. I'm telling y'all some real ass shit, and this ain't no shit that's catered toward niggas or catered. Everybody got a motherfucking role to pay in these, play in these packs, boy. And if you don't play pack mentality versus herd mentality, hell, Google how animals operate that, that, that run in a herd. You will see how them bitches just run with the flow of the group. But they all really individual. A lot of times they have kids, they don't even look out for the motherfuckers. They have them. Bitch, you learn to walk. They get your ass right with that, and that's it. Your ass left, boy. To thrive for yourself, boy. Really look up how these animals move. That's how a lot of y'all moving with y'all jits, boy. You had them. You clothe them. You feed them. Other than that, you don't teach them a fuck thing. They out here looking like a wounded gazelle, boy. And a bitch gonna eat them alive out here, boy. When they come across some motherfuckers, some, some, some jits that was bred to run in a pack, they understand, like, how to step as a motherfucking prey. All right, your kid gonna always be prey to a motherfucker like that. They always gonna get used up to a bitch like that. Always, because you ain't teaching them shit. You operating off a of herd mentality. You're having them, and you teach. Hey, when I run, you run too. When you see the group grow, you grow too. Y'all ain't looking out for one. You ain't breeding and teaching a mother. All right, message. message if you on here and you definitely worry about how much i cuss you on the wrong page this is sinners live this is sinners page i don't give no fucks if you on here and you feel like my voice too deep or you got a problem with the way i look i don't give no fucks if you on here worrying about what i got going on in my life or how i'm living you you you, you up against really something that you don't stand a chance because ain't nobody on here gonna stop following me based on what the fuck you type. These people on here, because they know I be speaking that real, some shit your mammy did not teach you and your daddy ain't stick enough, stick around long enough to even help you understand, bitch. So if you on here talking about anything other than what the fuck I'm saying, you out of pocket.
you outside of your element. It takes a certain type of mature adult, a certain type of person that got an understanding for the responsible content on my page. Anything else, it'll step on your toes, hurt your feelings. You attack, start typing some weak hole shit or some dumb nigga shit on the live, which nobody gonna care about. And most of my followers gonna get on your ass anyway, boy. Man, y'all make sure y'all enjoy y'all day. We halfway through the week. Consider what type of motherfuckers you got in your pack, boy. Consider it. Consider if you even running in a pack. Consider if your mentality is even a pack mentality, boy.